Oh. Hello. All right, let's get started. Okay, so Kangxi and the rights controversy. Um, kind kind of what happened with this with this era is that after Ruchi passed away, um, well, bef be let's just give you some background. Before this, Ruchi and Xavier had in in Asia set up a pretty um, respected. Chinese um, Christianities. Missionaries, 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 right. set of couple, uh, set of missionaries, and um, had even converted a fair amount of uh, Japanese and um, Christians, and uh, perhaps because of that, um, a lot of other missionaries came thinking that they would uh, would cash kind of cash in on that and convert a lot of people, and kind of like how um, that's a bad example. But, um, yeah, and basically they ruined it because they were, they were cocky and they didn't take the time to uh, act as Richie did. Right, and I, I think that the new missionaries just came for the sake of, for the, just the sake of doing it. Whilst Richie knew what he was talking about and he, he, he respected Chinese culture. Like we said many times, he spoke Chinese. He knew what he was doing and he knew how to, how to successfully convert the... the Japanese people when the, these new guys they had no idea what they were doing and and also um, Richie and also Richie was not so much um, Richie did not necessarily go with a political mission here instead what he did is he came just to convert people with a religious mission with, yeah with a religious mission while as these other um, priests kind of came with the idea, with um, the goal of bringing others underneath the rule of the Pope, right? Kind of like, yeah. Well, well, yeah. Well, Richie came as as a way to actually spread his faith. These these new guys, right, came to pretty much change the person they worshipped in not a, a God way, but in like a, a human way. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and before before we get like more into this, it's interesting to note that. Um, as, as, like, monks, these people were considered the most moral of their society, and they still were pretty ignorant and pretty, um, they pretty, they messed up pretty badly. Which, which they just shows, kind of yeah, which just shows what their, their morals truly were, and yeah. how people, you know, showed what was good and what was bad. Yeah, and going, going off the, uh, the whole expression that benevolence is intelligence, you see that... The monks that acted more intelligently, such as Richie and Xavier, did a lot better to convert um, other others. Um, and also another thing to point out is that the missionary uh, Richie and Xavier were both uh, Jesuits, I believe, or Jesuits, 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 um, which is a certain or which is a certain order of the uh, Catholic Church, um, perhaps a little bit more accepting. Of uh, Chinese Chinese ethics, while is the this new generation of missionaries also had a large faction of Dominican um, Dominic or not Dominican monks. They were lower in the in the religious specter than the Jesuits. Well, I, I'm not I'm not so sure about that. I they were they were definitely much less tolerant. Tolerant, of, that's the word. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Much less tolerant. They believe others. their way was the only way. Yes. Not, there is no other code of ethics like the Chinese. Yes. Yeah, while well, Oshian, and, I mean, uh, while, well, uh, like, Richie, you know, respected their culture. Yes. Yeah. Um, and we see, we see these uh, missionaries deferring to the Pope a lot more. So, for example, we see, um, when, when the, Priests report back that the Confu that uh, Chinese Christians are still using a lot of the Confucian rituals, such as um, burning incense, sac not sa or uh, doing family rituals to dead ancestors, um, having stone tablets with um, family members' names in them. Filial piety. Um, the Pope uh, calls back on the Pope calls them to tell. The Pope stop. sends back the message to say stop. Yep. That if, you're, if you want to be a Christian, you can't do you that. You can't do that. 
which I, which is why I think a lot of most of these not most but a, a lot of these new mission uh, converters fail. Yeah, they're too way too direct with their their way of saying you can't do this. If you want to become a Christian, here's a new way to live. Yeah. On the other hand, you had Jesuits um, saying that Confucianism was complementary to Christianity. Well, the, the different aspects of Confucianism itself fit in Christianity much differently. It does. Yeah. Right, and it I does. think that the Pope kind of raised the, the side where it's like, this part doesn't fit in, so you can't do this. While Ritchie was like, you can do this. Like, here's the stuff you can do that matches like with the puzzle piece as a Confucianism and oh, as a Confucius person and as a, uh, a Christian. Much more flexible. Right. Much more flexible. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and it's, it's kind of funny because you see that um, in the course of a couple hundred years, you see the, the different popes banning and um, repealing these, these bans on Confucian rituals back and forth. Um, which just shows each each different yeah each different uh, popes right um, different you know side of the, the, the scale like pro and con Confucianism in comparison to Christianity yeah oh can you explain that again it's like each each different like you said they keep banning and repealing the different uh, Confucian rituals that just shows that each specific each specific pope's different ideals are not ideals but opinion on, on Confucianism in general. If they start to ban different Confucian rituals, that just shows, okay, I'm more, I'm, I don't like this way that they think that Confucianism can fit into our religion. Whilst it, some other uh, popes would be like, yeah, this is, this is fine. This fits in just fine. You can continue with your family rituals while worshiping God. Yes. And in China, we see that um, because of the split in the missionaries, where we had a more tolerant sect and a less tolerant sect, you have um, you have some you have some Chinese that um, accept Christianity as their god, and um, and eventually though it gets to the point where these these bans um, upset the emperor because they're not just bans um, that are like accepted they're not, because those bans come from a person the pope who of thinks authority. he's yeah, better than the who's, 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 who in the emperor's mind is trying to um, take his upset him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, that, and that pisses him off, and that's what leads um, Kangxi to eventually, um, through a number of um, meetings with papal officials, which are not, which go especially bad because those papal officials are not well versed in Chinese culture, leading Kangxi to disrespect them, um, lead Kangxi to eventually ban. Um, Christianity. Not Christianity, but the, the spread Spreading. of Christianity. Spreading. So, um, missionaries. Yeah. yeah. He's, re he's a very, very, very tolerant emperor because he allows um, those who are sick, who are old, and. Um, he pretty much had it up to. He had it up to here with, like, okay, I'm done with this. I, yeah. I can't take uh, this pope trying to take my authority again. Yeah. It's, yeah. This is my area. I can control what people do. Yeah. yeah. And, and at the same time, he was fair because he said only those who are too old or sick to travel, those with residency permits, and those with special skills, and those living secluded lives in retreats um, may remain. Yeah. So it's he's a very, very fair emperor. Yeah. Yeah. Well, as the Pope is more trying to usurp a superior civilization. Right. Yes. Right. Okay, there we go.